It's unacceptable that there's two billion people in the world who don't have access to financial services. It's totally unacceptable. It turns out that with the traditional global payment infrastructure, it's actually more efficient to stuff $10,000 in a FedEx envelope and FedEx it. We should not be FedExing money. That's a terrible idea. But that's why it's so ridiculous that, that modern technology hasn't provided a way to optimize the movement of money around the world, right? When it becomes more efficient to FedEx cash, something is wrong. It would be awesome if every bank in the world had a correspondent bank account with every other bank in the world, but that's just not realistic, that's not feasible, at least not until now. If everybody is using um, a distributed ledger, a shared ledger, we now have the capacity to represent bank balances on each other in one system. And that's, that's really where the efficiencies come as you eliminate these hops, these, these intermediaries, because now every bank conceptually has a relationship with every, every other bank in the world. So we built a system that, um, that envisions that ultimate outcome. We call that system WorldWire. Uh, so WorldWire is a network uh, of networks that is built on top of the Stellar protocol, which provides a, a blockchain protocol that is tailored and tuned for the transfer of value and for the store of value through the issuance of many different types of digital assets. We chose Stellar because it has um, thought about scalability. It's rethought the underlying mechanics, and some of them are, are quite complex. You know, when you think of distributed computing and consensus algorithms, these are you know, not trivial things. The other benefit of Stellar, Stellar provides an amazingly simple way to issue digital assets, which is really paramount to the use and the vision behind the WorldWire system. Stellar provides a good bridge for us between this purely private network and this completely open Wild West network that we know as, as Bitcoin, where we can actually create a subnetwork, if you will, where we can enforce certain rules on the participants, but not give up the transparency and the openness of having an open network. Global payments, at least in the markets where we're starting, which is small value, retail, remittance payments, this needs to be open. Uh, it needs to be transparent because there's thousands of players who could come to the network and add value. The experience of working with Stellar has been, has been really good and has been very well received, I, I think. There have been a number of iterations or experiments or technologies that have come about since the advent of Bitcoin, since the, you know, the light bulb went off. Um, and I, I think Stellar got it right at the right time. Imagine a world where everybody has money. What does that world look like? And a lot of people um, in the world don't have money, not because they don't have good ideas, but because they don't have access to the networks where the money is exchanged. And that's what we're trying to do is break those barriers down. So when you combine all of what Stellar does and all of what IBM is trying to do with WorldWire and you put those together, now all of a sudden you have a capability that has the potential to really change the world, to have an impact on humanity. And I think that's really cool.